always remember when we came into Wembley Stadium, uh, the first thing I saw on the scoreboard was a notice saying, it's not the winning and losing, but it's the taking part, Ballon de Coubertin. And uh, that was it. We, uh, we didn't go into it for any, any great um, benefit at all, but we had a marvellous time and we were a great bunch of people. I remember when we were waiting to go into the opening ceremony um, on the opening of the Olympic Games, um, they, they must have burnt the weeds down and so all the grass was black and charred and we had to walk in the stadium with black feet. They released hundreds of pigeons circled had been in boxes all morning. And I remember the flock of pigeons or doves which were released when they opened the games and one of the feathers from one of the pigeons fell quite near me and I picked that up and it's sitting in a vase in the dining room. Then they circled round and round and round before they flew off. So I'm afraid we got christened once or twice. We were strictly amateurs. If you if you were seen to take, or they found that you took any expenses other than um, the basic uh, expense of travel, they would declare you professional immediately. So it was very very tight indeed. We weren't even allowed a local bus ticket. Or we'd be stuck off because we were amateurs. My overriding memory of the Olympic Games was that it was no big deal. Well, I never had nerves. I just never had a measured run up. I didn't have a coach. I just used to run and jump. I didn't even take any notice of the other people there. When uh, I competed in 1948, you had to sign a form to say that you'd never competed for pecuniary gain. You know, you've got to be a strict amateur. And that's the big difference now, is that they're all doing it for money. Nivea Cream gave us a little uh, tin of Nivea Cream, uh, and there were no strings attached. So that was about the only thing, I think, that <laughs> we might have received from what you might have called a sponsor. There was more enjoyment because of the amateur status. Far more enjoyment because of the amateur status, because you were brought together as young sports people from around the world to get to each other and enjoy peace and uh, harmony amongst uh, a, a group of sportsmen, which was really the whole essence of the Olympic Games. To try and compare the Olympic Games in 1948 with the two Olympic Games in 2012 is completely impossible. Well, it doesn't compare to, uh, they don't compare because the 1948 Games were hastily put together and there were not very many events, especially for the women, like there are now. Um, but in our, our day, it was much more of a game and uh, I think more enjoyable for that. Everything is per perfection, isn't it? Or it should be apparatus wise and accommodation wise, transportation. But we didn't mind, we were happy, we had a really good time. We weren't early to train at Wembley Pool because it was open to the public, and that was the only time we could be sure of a less crowded pool. We were trying to sneak into the gymnasium. Uh, in salt air uh, for extra practice and the only way in because the doors were locked was through a broken window so I attempted to climb through the window first uh, whilst the other two friends were waiting and of course I got stuck and I was stuck in this window for about half an hour and my friends were absolutely hysterical. But when we were training for Henley uh, at Oxford we la lived largely on whale meat, which was very greasy and not, not very pleasant, but that was supposed to produce enough carbohydrates to build us up.
the swimsuits, <laughs> they were gruesome. Um, they were navy blue, quite a long way down the leg, I think, high up the bosom and plastered with an enormous union flag, sort of thing that a, a young woman might wear in the 1920s. Absolutely gruesome. And to see the number of people who'd survived from 38 through to the 48 and are still competing in their respective events, I felt rather, rather pleased about. And not quite as alone as I might have been. Competitors remember it so much. It's so much part of the whole scene. The Olympic Games, riding for a medal, and then getting the response from the crowd. But definitely in terms of physical fitness, uh, I think we have benefited and I think it is very important that people do get up off their backsides and take an active part in life. When the British team rode for their bronze medals, there was not a dry eye in the, in the house. <clears throat> it's amazing, the emotion comes back even after these many years. <laughs>